OK, you're in Microsoft Excel. You want to be able to select a record and print that to PDF, excluding any other data on the sheet. So I'll show you a couple of quick ways of doing this. First way is to go to File and then Print. Now you need to make sure that under Printer, you've got Microsoft Print to PDF selected. And then under Settings, you've got Print Selection selected. And then if you click on Print, it'll only print the selected record. So for example, if I call this test PDF and save it, here's the PDF we created. And you can see it only includes that one record. Now, another way of doing exactly the same thing is to go to File and then Export. Then go to this option, Create PDF XPS, then click on this button. Then in this dialog box, click on Options. And under Publish What, select Selection. Click on OK and give your PDF a name. So we'll call it Test PDF 2. There's our Test PDF 2. It only includes that one record. Now, the downside of both of those methods is that you can't include non-consecutive ranges in your PDF. So for example, I can't include the headings plus one or more of these records. If I go to File and then Print, you can see it only includes the first range that I selected. Now, to get around that, you can use VBA. And I've included a script you can use for this very purpose. So if you download it from the link in the description of this video, open up the file, copy the code that I've provided. I'll do exactly the same thing. So here's the code. Click into the file, Control A to select all, Control C to copy. And I'll just minimize this. Then you need to make sure you have the developer tab visible in Excel. And by default, it isn't. So right click on one of the other tabs. If you can't see the developer tab, go to customize the ribbon and then tick the developer option in this list. Then on the developer tab, go to the Visual Basic button. And then you need to create a module. So to do that, go to Insert Module. And then in this code window, paste in Control V, that code that I gave you. Close down the Visual Basic application. Now to run the macro, go to your Macros button. Click on Run. Give the PDF a name. Test PDF 3. Click on Save. Click on OK. Let's have a look at the PDF. So here's the PDF I created. It includes the column heading and one record, which is exactly what I had selected. Now, because we're including a VBA script in our workbook, when we save the workbook, we will need to save it as a macro-enabled workbook. If you don't want to do that, save the VBA script to the personal macro workbook. That way, it will also be available to all workbooks that you're working in. If you want to create a button, say on the Quick Access Toolbar for this macro, then just click on the Customize button at the end of it. Go to More Commands. Where it says Popular Commands currently here in this drop down, choose Macros. Select the macro that we just created. Here it is, Export to PDF. Click on Add. You can change the image that appears by clicking on Modify. I'm going to select this little save icon and change this display name. Click on OK and then click on OK again. So now you can see I have the export to PDF button here. If I select records that I want to export to PDF, I can click on this button and it will run that macro. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.